Hey guys, SuperFoxy102 here. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see with the title, I'm going to be making a Resident Evil 8 Village poster. You should honestly go play it or at least watch some gameplay on it. It's a really good game. I like it. But if you already know what that is, I'm going to be taking some drawings. I haven't posted all on Instagram. You should go check them out. I'm going to be taking some drawings I drew. And I'm going to attach them to these two pieces of paper. I'm going to put I'm going to put these two together. I'm going to assemble them together. And after I'm done, I'm going to put all the drawings that I have drawn onto that. Capcom, you should sponsor me. I worked hard on this for this day to come. For me to finally make this game. Video off the game. But with just drawings. Anyways, uh, first off, I'm going to be showing off the drawings I uh, did. From the order they were drawn. And then I'm going to assemble stuff up. And then, yeah, I'm going to attach them to the paper and then do whatever it is I'm gonna do with it if I wanna like decorate it for the poster or whatever anyways here are the drawings from when uh... or the date they were drawn first off we have the one and only Lady Dimitrisk or Dimitrisk I drew this on the 4th of June and to be honest this is when I kinda started getting obsessed with the game I'm gonna tell you this She's my favorite character. Nine foot six. Imagine being that tall having to duck the doorways. But uh, anyways, here's the drawing depiction of her. And this is a picture I based her off of. Although I am gonna be honest, all the other drawings weren't based off of any sort of picture of the characters, but I'll just show you what they look like throughout. I actually didn't think about doing a poster video until like later on, cause I started drawing these. And you know, something different for the channel. Here's my drawing Lady D. Alcina. Then secondly, we have Heisenberg. I drew him like four days later after I drew Lady D. So not really much to say on him. He's probably a second favorite character. I'm not really sure to be honest. I like all the characters in there. I'm just going to say that for once. But here is my depiction of Carl Heisenberg. And here is what he looks like in the game. Musty Metal Man. <laughs> So, uh, that's what I have in the ass for a drawing. I'm gonna be honest, it's bad, but I tried. Still looks like it in a way, so I mean, I guess that's all that counts. Moving on to the next one. We got Donna Beneviento and Angie. I drew her the same day as I did Heisenberg. We have Donna with her little KDU infection in her eye right there. And then we got her little doll buddy Angie there. Uh, I'm pretty sure I based her off a drawing that I found on the internet, but I don't know. I can't really find it, but here's her drawing depiction, and then here's her actual in-game look. Although you can't see the little KDU infection she has in her eye, uh, this is just a little portrait of her that she has on her wall. And then she's got Angie looking like a little bride, like puppet doll thingy. All right now, moving on to the next one. So from this point on, I was actually going to finish off with the Four Lords, but instead I kind of used the Last Lord, or put the Last Lord as the last drawing I drew. But the next things I drew were Lady D's daughters, or, you know, bug infections. Uh, I drew this the day after. Uh, I think I left when I uh, went to go do this drawing, or when I finally managed to finish it, I'm not really sure, but... We got Bella Dimitrisk. I'm pretty sure I based her off uh, this one drawing I found on the internet too. Either that or I might have just found an in-game picture of her and just drew from then and there. Stuff like this is hard, but we got, yeah, we got Bella Dimitrisk. One of the three bugs. I'm going to be honest though, I don't know if she's the oldest or the youngest in the group. There's Bella, Cassandra, and then Daniela. And I drew them in the order of ABC, you know. So here's her, her drawing depiction, and then here's what she looks like in game. So yeah, there's Bella. Now moving on to the next of the three sisters. Cassandra, or Cassandra. I drew this five days later after I drew Bella. But that's also because I was having a hard time finding a picture. But this, I'm going to tell you this. This took forever trying to add all the little details and, you know, just shading. I was going to color all of these, but 
when I actually made a first attempt of trying to put all the sisters together in one picture, I, I failed that, trying to color that with markers and like colored pencils. I really messed up the picture. So that's why I'm leaving it at this. But there we have Cassandra. She's got all these little flies around her. She's also on her hand right there, that's supposed to be like blood dripping, by the way. And then on her tongue too, it's got blood, but you know. 616, 2021. Uh, here's the drawing depiction of her, and then here is her in game picture. This is like an up close of the first encounterment of her, I'm pretty sure, but yeah. That's what she looks like. Also, to tell the difference between all the three, Bella's got blonde hair, Cassandra's got dark black, like brownish hair, and then Daniela's got red hair, but yeah, there's Cassandra. Now, moving on to the last sister that I just mentioned up. Daniela. I drew her the same day as I drew Cassandra. Although I probably should have fixed it and maybe shade her hair a little darker, but I probably would have messed that up anyways, but... Yep, there's Daniela. Out of all the three sisters, Cassandra's the hardest, but I think this was the easiest out of all of them, to be honest. Now, last but not least... Oh wait, I got a short end game depiction so uh drawing depiction and then end game depiction then i'll move on to the last drawing also mother miranda isn't drawn if you haven't seen my instagram post i'm telling you this now i have not drawn mother miranda so she is not included like i was saying drawing i'm gonna be honest i couldn't really find a good picture of her so this is the best i could find and also you could see the details just popping out ignore the little caption there but you can see all the littlest details popping out, especially your hair color, since you can't really tell in the game, but yeah. Daniela. Alright, now, last but not least, we are finally moving on to Moreau. Mr. Fishman. So this, I'm pretty sure I just looked up a picture of Moreau, or like, drawing a Moreau, and I just like... Either, I either traced it out, or I actually tried to draw this, but I'm not really sure, because I don't remember. Uh, four days after. I drew this four days after the last two sisters. But instead of actually drawing his form without the cloak, I decided to put it over him because, you know, he's got to hide himself, you know? He's got the cloak over his head, you know, to cover his... Ugh, or whatever he called it. And then he's got, like, the bones tied around his head. Or his hat. He's the least favorite out of Mother Miranda's creations. How sad. But, uh, there we have it. Salvatore Moreau's drawing, and then, or here's the drawing depiction of Salvatore Moreau, and then here is the actual in-game drawing. I think this was the drawing of Base Moth, by the way, but I got, like, a front-face picture for it, but... There we have it, Salvatore Moreau, under the cloak, or whatever you would call them, raggedy clothing. And then I'm very sorry to curse your eye, or your eyes, and this will probably be implanted into your brain forever if you haven't already seen the game or really watched any Let's Plays off of it, which is what I did. Here's what he looks like without his little cloak thing. Scary. Anyways, now that I am done showing off those drawings, it's time to assemble the poster together. Let me just... Alright, I got the first side taped down. Now all I gotta do is... To get the backside taped down. But instead of doing regular old scotch tape, I'm going to be taping it down with duct tape. Give me a second. Okay, so I got that done. I'm gonna add a little bit of more tape to this. All right, now, okay. Yeah, I think that's big enough. Yeah, we're, we're good, guys. All right, now we gotta finish on with the rest of it, the drawings. I'm gonna start with the four lords, and then I'm going to tape down the three sisters. B, C, D. Start off with Alcina. First, I gotta cut all that off, and then, yeah. Now to tape it down. Actually, you know what, first I'm going to cut up the rest, and then I'll tape them down. Alright, I think that's how I'm going to put them up. 
Just like that. Probably have to fix it a little, but you know, just like that maybe. And... Alright, they're done being taped down. I might just need to add more duct tape to the back to have it stay sturdy, like in place. You know, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so it's a little sloppy, but this is kind of a first time poster making, but... I got that done, and now when I flip it over, it doesn't like bend completely. But yeah, I got that down. But there we have it, you guys. My Resident Evil 8 poster. This is it. I can't believe I finally made it to this day, but I finally finished it off. I'm not really sure where I'm going to stick it up, but later on throughout the day, even though it is already finished, I'm probably going to add some little labels for their names and stuff. But that doesn't really need to be shown on camera anyways. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and if you want any more sort of poster videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Also, before I end this video, I'm going to show you an edit. Two edits of these guys right here. Not these guys. The Dimitrisk family. They're my favorite characters and all, so I decided to add a little bonus to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.